Hi, this is David Richter Scale Studios. This is the new Studio Beast and Any Cubic Chiron. Um, this has a 400 by a 400 by a tall 450 build volume. This would be great to print big pieces of train or big train tiles in the future. Uh, this video is just going to cover my uh, first thoughts on this. I've played with it for a week. I've done a few mods on it already, as you can probably notice. So. I got this on eBay, I did a bid on their store, I got a really good price on it, so I was thrilled about that. I still had the back of the mind, my mind when uh, the betas were released, it got hammered on YouTube, and then a couple months later when they re-released them and did the little fixes that were suggested, uh, it got uh, great reviews. So when I got it, uh, put it together real quick, it's basically 10 screws, you have 3 screws in the T-plate and two, 2 screws that come up through the bottom into the gantry. And then you have a couple plug-ins here and there which I kind of like that about any cubic, uh, very modular. First thing that I had a problem with, I didn't even notice when I put it together, um, Y belt was totally slack, but that was an easy fix. There's two 25 millimeter blocks fixed onto the sled with four M4s. Loosened all those, pulled it tight, uh, great tension. The other problem uh, on the X axis, the uh, drive gear, both uh, set screws were completely loose, so when I ran this on the home on the first run, I did a homing on it, a uh, bunch of weird noises and nothing moved correctly, so I went through it real quick, figured that uh, fixed it. So uh, that's why I, I, I wouldn't, ex um, what would I say? I wouldn't suggest this for a brand new user, because I have five or six printers, so I kind of used to fixing these in my, uh, and doing maintenance, so that was no big deal. Uh, the other thing later on, after some prints, uh, the Y sled, eccentric nuts were loose, a little loose on the right, easy fix. Super loose on the left, I had to remove the, um, or detach the control box and the uh, 24 volt power supply, if you see back there, that big silver box, and then get to it, and that was an easy fix after that. I do recommend taking the full build and glass and uh, heat plate off these springs are super tight in the very beginning doing the uh, manual bed leveling and after I put it back on it seemed much more simple. I have not done anything with the automatic assist bed leveling. I don't know if you can see. Let's see if I get over here. There's a little piece of metal under there. It uh, has a magnet item that plugs into the uh, right there little uh, 2.5 JST and it has a G code to run an automatic assist bed leveling and uh, it's all controlled by the touch screen, which is very uh, similar to the Anycube i3 Mega, uh, one of my favorite machines I have in the studio. Okay, so after that, I joined the Anycubic Chiron support group on Facebook. A uh, good community, about seven, 800 people, I think. One of the first things I read about was the Y-axis motor. It has a dampener comes uh, from the factory, but Anycubic put the uh, screws that uh, attached from the frame there to the um, damper went all the way through the damper into the motor so it defeated the purpose of the damper itself. So I believe there were two M4 or two M3s, four millimeter, six millimeter, just enough to get it into the uh, frame, into the, uh, the mount itself, it works perfect. And then it didn't come in on the x-axis, very simple, I uh, put one on myself, uh, flipped around the uh, x-axis uh, drive gear, it still has very easy access to the set screws, so that was done, ran great after that. Uh, then I did um, my first mod I made myself. Went out of the uh, box, it has a bunch of wire ties holding everything together for shipping. There's another small one that went around the uh, cable system. It goes from the uh, control box to the heater bed and build plate. And I cut that and I caught that corner a couple times. Uh, so I designed this little Simpson looking thing uh, links below the Thingiverse, and that solved that. Also, uh, this texture on the uh, casing, it kind of catches everything. This was a little experiment I did with some uh, spiral wire um, management stuff that I have for my i3 Mega, or my, no, my Prusa Mark III. So I changed everything on that, and that helps a lot. I'm gonna probably do the whole thing to make it look better. So that was a little thing I did right away, and had it running really good. Went through three or four profiles. I finally found one. I'll go into that in a second. So from the Facebook user group, a guy named Chris Wachowski, uh sounds like a detective at a precinct in a movie. Um, he designed, this is his revision six uh, cooling duct system. Uh, the original 
when it comes off this side, I don't think blew enough across, and I'd probably run my PLA a little too hot, so I know a little bit of um, softened detail on the left side of my prints. So I put this on, that has solved it completely. And then I, what was the other one I did? This is from Thingiverse, a little wire management system that holds everything from the wire uh, cable chain and everything going to the extruder, all the wires to that. They were moving around a lot with the, even the chain moving around, with that moving, and the spool. Uh, that made sense to put it on. Simple uh, print, that was nice. And links to that below too. And then, oh, well another thing about this, uh, uh, kind of backtracking here, the uh, Z-stops are amazing. They're not mechanical. There's some kind of, of light system. You see there's some uh, folded metal in those lights. So these still haven't come out of um, Z-stop. So when you uh, home this thing, it goes up. I remember when I first uh, turned it on, it came down kind of crooked. Then it caught here, light went on, and this one moved itself. So they were in uh, not working in tandem, the motors, they're separate. And this one stopped, this one came down, even leveled it all out, so you have perfect uh, Z leveling all the time. Yeah, Z leveling on the, uh, yeah, Z axis leveling from the uh, X axis rod, or uh, drive uh, belt. So that was really cool. <clears throat> so the last thing I designed, or I did a remix, uh, if you're familiar, this is the uh, filler spool holder from Thingiverse. I love this thing, it takes any drag down at all. I just did, uh, that's the factory mounting bracket, a link to Thingiverse, I just put it on a day ago. And it has, it's all self-explanatory how to put it together and the files to use from filler. Um, great design, I have it on my Anycubic i3 Mega and also both my Ender 3s. So that helped tremendously. I'll put a picture above what the original one looks like. It's square, it's just this kind of textured metal and folded. And there was so much tension on the saw. This was like very stiff constantly going in. So that rectified that, and you can see it just kind of relaxes, and just barely touching it, it moves. Very nice. Oh, another thing that was new to me was this uh, Titan extruder clone, a clone Titan extruder. Took a little getting used to the tension on it. Plays a lot more plain than a, an MK8 extruder. But it's working great. Um, I see some stuff on um, line where people are having trouble loading it, because this is the filament sensor uh, fixed. Um, I haven't tested it yet, but my other any cubic works amazing, so I'm not too worried about it. And then uh, just make sure you've straightened out your filament, you know, bend it straight, put a nice little angle cut, then feed it in that way, and it's no problem. So that is it. So future mods coming up. So let me get this out of the way. Another Wilkowski design. This is called Mr. Freeze. So it's very familiar to the... Uh, Revision 6 that comes off the 4010 uh, stock um, fan. So this is a 5015. Uh, it's got holes for magnets. I somehow had these in my studio. So I'm gonna uh, epoxy those in. It's got clearances for all the screws around the existing fan to fit. So it just magnetizes on. I'm gonna have to change out the uh, 2.5 millimeter JST to some two millimeters. Uh, all of any cubic stuff uses these. So that'll be easy. Um, uh, mod and it comes with heat shrink tubing. I'll put links to that. And then the big mod I want to do is the uh, TMC uh, 2208 uh, stepper drivers. I'm doing X and Y. And another thing by Mr. Wolkowski from the Anycubic uh, Connor and Group. He did a PDF on how to install them and the small wiring change because these have reverse polarity or they drive the motors a different direction to make these work and it'll smooth everything out and take even more noise away. Uh, as you can probably hear in the background. Um, the way I describe this stuff, if you ever watch the news or listen to the radio when they have uh, live helicopter reports, it sounds like the background of a helicopter while you're inside the cabin reporting the news. I don't know why. So that is it on this little review. Um, God, it's already 10 minutes since we flew by. And I'll have this featured in other videos in the future, the bigger train. Um, this is a piece from Imperial Train. Uh, this is a going to be a wall. I'll show it off in the very end of the video. Um, I'll put some pictures up of the finished uh, train piece, and I'll see you in the next video. As usual, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one. I had to come back and show you the finished print after all that of my first thoughts on the Anycubic Chiron. So this is the Imperial Terrain Scatter Brick, and you know that I'm using a, a profile from the forum. You saw it in the beginning of the video, uh, Chris Wolkowski, and it turned out great. 
14 hours and 51 minutes and it didn't even take up that much room on the build plate. So, I mean, look at the top layers, nice. And that first layer, amazing. Let's just spin it around, give a little glamour shot here. I like board gaming terrain. This is really cool, these machines put it out. And now, that, I mean, these sculptors are getting really, really uh, good at um, using these machines and optimizing uh, the printers for them. So thank you for joining me and we'll for sure see you in the next video.